Uh, joining me live on the uh, phone is uh, the uh, New Yorker uh, writer John Lee Anderson, also the biographer of Che Guevara. John Lee Anderson, live from Dorset in England. Uh, John Lee Anderson, I was listening to uh, some of the corporate media, all the different channels, which are all marking this uh, decade long uh, in power by Hugo Chavez, and every single one of them talked about the uh, autocratic style of Hugo Chavez. Uh, is he an autocrat? A leftist, a Latin American autocrat. Well, he, 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 he Chavez is sort of born out of time. Um, he, in, in many ways, he's more of a figure we might recognize from the '60s in terms of his rhetoric and and so on. He, he's a very impassioned speaker. As a former military man, I think that's why some people might denote him as or, or describe authoritarianism to him. He can be very outspoken to his own detriment at times. He sometimes thinks before he speaks, but he is democratically elected and re-elected and has won many, many referendums, which have in fact, at the polls, given him a majority of the votes and which have, if anything, strengthened his power. He, he could be described as one of a new generation of, uh, I say, small a authoritarian Democrats, but uh, in, a, in, a, in a society which is which he inherited at the time of extreme chaos and social unrest and after many, many years of corruption. An, um, so another, I think you have to see him in context. Another thing they accuse him of, of leading a divided country, that uh, uh, it's nearly divided between rich and poor. Um, what, what are his achievements, apart from surviving a coup led by those, uh, the richer parts of Venezuelan society and perhaps backed by the United States? Well, I think it was acknowledged by the White House that they... Uh, sort of approved of it with a wink and a nod, in fact. And, of course, that's what, that's what marks uh, uh, Chavez's more radical uh, stance with the United States and his decision to embark on a socialist path as well was the coup that he feels was signed off by the Bush administration. You know, there is a kind of Chavez before and after, a bit, a bit like there was a Fidel Castro before and after the Bay of Pigs invasion. Um, and, and, but I think Chavez... Chavez, at, uh, 10 years, uh, you know, we're now at his 10th anniversary. He's, he's had a, a difficulty in making headway on a lot of domestic uh, programs. And his critics would argue that he's spent a lot of money outside doing good works. But I think in, in a way similar to Fidel Castro, where you could, you could perhaps criticize him for some economic domestic faults. But abroad, I think both leaders are probably regarded universally as quite heroic. I mean, you have to you have to give Chavez if he can be criticized for not having achieved all of his social and economic progress at home, and that's why he wants to stay in power to actually pull that off. You can say that internationally, he's carved out a niche for himself. He's certainly regarded as Fidel's successor, and and through his sort of um, uh, through his good offices, he's helped a number of other. Um, uh, new style uh, governments come into office, such as um, in uh, Bolivia and in Ecuador. And indeed, of course, uh, Fidel Castro didn't have that support. The summit is going on at the moment, Venezuela, Bolivia, Nicaragua, the Albus summit. Um, do you think uh, he can draw all those countries together as a regional power, uh, power block? We're, we're running out of time, but... Um, he did, yeah. uh, he, did, he did announce that he doubted uh, President Obama's talk about self-sufficiently and see for oil supplies for the United States. Um, of course, oil, oil prices are going down, and Venezuela depends on oil prices. Is it going to impact on his economic plans and the economic plans of the region? Yes, it will. It will impact on his plans. Um, actually, I think that, that he's been a little intemperate and needs to give maybe Obama a little bit more time. Uh, Obama, on the one hand, represents American continuity, that's true, but he also does represent a, a departure in the past. Barack Obama most certainly is not George W. Bush, and I think there is room for, uh, for a new sort of relationship and dialogue to develop there, which I would think would ultimately behoove both the U.S., in terms of its relationship with Latin America, and certainly Latin Americans vis-a-vis -vis the Washington. John Lee Anderson uh, from The New Yorker and also the biographer of uh, Che Guevara, thank you very much for joining us. It's time for a recap of the world headlines this hour here on Press TV Live from Tehran now.